I'm going to need your help in this vlog, so make sure to stick around. But this one, we're going to be talking about my first ukulele. <laughs> a little, little attitude, a little intonation problems, but that's okay because this one is about my first ukulele. And by the way, this is, this is it right here. This is my very first ukulele. I'm going to tell you that story here. Uh, but first of all, thanks for being here. I'm Terry Carter and welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification. Uh, this is part of my vlog series that I'm doing, talking a little bit about my myself, my career in music, just in life in general. Um, and it goes along with my blog, blog.youcollectthepros.com, where you can see this written out and also a lot of great, fantastic content we have up there, blog.youcollectthepros.com. All right. So uh, during this video, as I'm talking about my first ukulele, I want you to think about your first ukulele and leave a comment below uh, when you think back upon that. Maybe some of it's recent and maybe it's been a while since you got it, but think back and leave, leave your story, leave a comment below. All right. I remember it very clearly, very clearly. I'm going to date myself and I don't care because I embrace my age, who I am and very happy with where I'm at in life right now. So uh, it was 1992 it was the spring semester, 1992. I was going to community college here in San Diego, Grossmont College. It was my second semester I didn't do very well in my first semester. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, out of high school, I actually got accepted to San Diego State. But I decided to bypass that, go to Grossmont College because they really wanted me to, over there to play baseball. And at the time, baseball was my life. I mean, I was a musician. I had my guitar. I was playing music, but mainly rock music. <laughs> and uh, But uh, that was my life. Baseball was going to become a baseball player. I was really focused. It's probably a whole different side of me, but I was very focused at the time of playing baseball. So I go to Grossmont College to do that. Now, little did I know that this semester, this spring semester, 1992, was literally going to change my path later down the road with this ukulele. But um, I didn't know that at the time. But anyway, like I said, 1991, my first semester, don't, don't just send a high school kid <laughs> like me to college where I had no rules. I didn't have to do anything because I didn't do very well in my classes because I didn't do my homework. <laughs> I didn't do any homework. And uh, so I was actually on academic probation going into 1992. I remember this very clearly because I was there to play baseball. And if I didn't get my act together, I didn't get my grades up, I was going to be ineligible to play what I was there to play, which is baseball. So I had a little bit more focus and dedication to my semester. I remember that semester very clearly. And a matter of fact, I did find my transcripts and I pulled them out just to make sure I was correct. And I was correct. That semester I took anthropology, which uh, took me a couple times to pass. I don't know. <laughs> it was a hard class, a lot to memorize. That was my problem with that one. Anthropology. Uh, I was taking physical ed, which is my baseball class. Philosophy. Hmm, a little philosophy here. And then really the class that probably changed my life forever. Little did I know again at that time was music 118. That was classroom music. And that's what really led me to the ukulele. Let me do a little break here and uh, we'll get back to the story. have some issues, but that's okay. I'm not trying to sell you this ukulele. This is mine. I'm going to keep, hold on to this. I'm going to keep on this. But if you are want an ukulele, check out my number one store online at store.youcollectthepros.com. All right. So music 118. Little did I know. I wasn't really thrilled about the class. You know, I'm a guitar player and like got a little attitude, <laughs> you know, but I didn't really know anything at the time. I was just playing rock music, writing some original music, playing some covers. But, you know, I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be easy class. At least it was something I I knew of. Um, and so, because at the time, I didn't even know, like, really what I was going to study, to be totally honest with you. It was like, what major you are? I was, like, undecided. Uh, music wasn't really an option or even a thought at that time. I didn't even think you could study music as, like, a guitar player, especially a rock guitar player. 
I thought it was like classical musicians, you know, piano, flute, saxophone, all that kind of stuff. That was music majors, but not me. So it wasn't really even something I considered, even though I did love music, um, playing music. So I took this class and I was like, okay, I think it's going to be kind of basic, but it's music and I'm interested in that. So definitely more interested in that than I was in anthropology, uh, even philosophy. But, uh, but I jumped into it and in the syllabus, which I probably didn't read, the teacher said, you got to have an ukulele. So of course I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, <laughs> so we're doing a class, we're learning. It was like basic music stuff, learning rhythms, singing. We used to make uh, games, create games and, and learn games that we could teach kids. Like if you're in a classroom with, with kids, uh, doing that. Because it's funny, I was actually, my mom was the one who was like, you should t- become a, like an elementary teacher, not even music. It was just like an elementary, you're good with kids and you should do that. So I was like, I guess, like I was, like I said, I was undecided. So if anything, I was kind of heading towards like liberal studies to become a teacher, which is pretty funny. I mean, I have a great teacher, but just to be like an elementary school teacher, it's kind of funny to imagine myself in that, but yeah, whole different time. So I'm taking this class, we're learning stuff. And the teacher's like, you got to have an ukulele by the next class. <laughs> well, I didn't have an ukulele at all. And of course, because like I said, I didn't read the syllabus. I had to, well, where do I get an ukulele? So she's like, go over to Mode's guitar. They're still around in San Diego, by the way. They're just at a different location than the one I remember where I got this thing from. So I go talk to them. I got a special deal where you can get an ukulele for the classroom. Just tell them, tell them you're taking my class, that kind of stuff. So I go in there. I remember it was $50, $50 for the ukulele. I had no clue about anything. Just I needed it for class. Give me my 50 bucks. Got this ukulele. I don't even think it had like a case. I mean, it must have it must have had a box or something, but I don't even remember. I just remember I always just kind of had had it like this. And uh, I got it. Had nothing, no, no really understanding what to do with it. And uh, we go to class. So let me do a little playing and then I'll tell you about the story that when I started learning here, this great instrument, the ukulele. <laughs> just a little solo break. By the way, I just reminded of the plan that if you're into ukulele and you want to learn how to solo, I got a great course, beginning ukulele soloing course. Check it out at ukuletopros.com. All right, by the way, appreciate you being here and smashing that like button. All right, so I got the ukulele. I go to, go to school. Don't even know anything about it, right? Just go to class. I don't. I guess she must. the teacher must have tuned it up. Didn't know anything about it. We played. I didn't even know that it was a baritone. Like, this is a baritone. I had no clue how to do it. We, I remember we tuned it. It had black strings on it originally. Uh, it it uh, was tuned GCEA. So it was tuned like a normal ukulele, even though it's a baritone size. And I remember we used it in class. We learned probably like three, four chords. We did some strumming. We did some songs. And and like, really, like, that's re- really about it. That's, that's about the extent of it is that I had this thing for that class. I learned a few things that I probably forgot after that. And at the time when it, when it ended, I didn't even like, I wasn't ready, let's just say that, to make the switch from guitar to the ukulele. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, what this is, I'll tell you, <laughs> before I wrap this up, let me just tell you, this is just a, uh, what is the name of this? Franciscan, Franciscan ukulele. It's just a laminate ukulele, nothing special about it all. Matter of fact, this is kind of funny. It's painted on, the binding is, is painted on. It's not even, not even real binding, it's just got paint on it uh, and uh, it's got really bad action and it doesn't stay in tune well it does stay in tune but the intonation is not too bad on it or not not great on it <laughs> not too bad it's not really great on it uh, but like I said it worked and then little did I know because after the class it literally sat in a closet that closet was in San Diego and then when I moved into LA I, I did take it up there with me it was in my studio I just sat there 23 years later that I know that I would then once again get this instrument out, this one instrument right here, start jamming at the beach with my man, Alex Cepeda. And at that point, that was when uh, everything about You Play the Pros started to come into my mind and form. And that's when I started to uh, act on those. And it's led us to here, You Play the Pros, 
the store.ufactorpros.com, the blog.store.ufactorpros.com, and everything we're doing right here on the YouTube channel uh, as well. So anyway, that was it. My first ukulele. What is your first ukulele? You remember the brand, the size of it? Again, this was a baritone, but it was tuned originally GCEA. I've tuned it back to baritone tuning. But leave a comment below. I'd love to see what your first ukulele is. All right. That's going to do it for this one. I appreciate your time. Thank you for all the support. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.